Hi and welcome! In this video, we'll look at the first part of the system section. Here you will find a wide range of settings for your app. The first part of the system section includes the menu, comments, user management, and the trash. First, we'll look at the options for the menu. In the Experience Studio, you can adjust your menu here. You can drag and drop menu elements to change their order. And you can add folders and group elements under these folders. For this, select an icon for your folder and enter a folder name. You can add a header image, which will be shown on the folder's overview page. And you can also add a description. Then click Create. Now you can drag and drop pages under the folder. We'll do this with About Us and Current Openings. Then save your changes. In the last video, we set up the pages About Us and Current Openings as public pages. Now we will turn on their visibility in the logged in area of the app. Now logged into the app, we can see our folder. If we click on it, we see the overview page with the header image and description. And we can visit the pages that we dropped into the folder. In the menu, you can also create news pages and you can assign news channels to them. Here you can create a news page. Select an icon and add a title. Here you can set up the way your channels are sorted in the news page how many posts can be seen for each channel, and the visibility of channels in the menu. We will keep the default settings. Then we create the news page and save our changes. Now we can add channels to the news page. For this, go to News and into the settings of the channel you want to add. We'll take our test channel. We remove the previously linked news page and then select Good News. Then hit save and publish the channel. In the app in the menu, we can now see our news page and the channels we link to it. In the system section, you can also see all user comments of your app and you can hide or delete them. Here you can find the user management. You can see your registered users, so these are the users that have already signed up. You can see the deactivated users, so these are seasonal workers or perhaps staff on maternity leave who will be reactivated upon return. And you can see invited users, so these are the users that have not logged in yet. We'll look at the user management in more detail in a later video. In the trash, you will find everything that has been deleted in the last 30 days. Admins can restore items from here if necessary. We'll explore more features of the Experience Studio in the next videos. And you can always find more information in our support portal.